Hi, my name is David Love with Sunwise Power Battery. I've been designing solar electric power systems for over 25 years. I'm asked every day how to size systems. I wanted to share that with you today. Whether it's a huge power system with many solar panels or a single module system, we need to start with two pieces of information, location and load. In this video, we're gonna discuss the importance of location the information we need and why we need it. The location refers both to the closest city as well as the specific site where the system will be installed. For the general area, we use the closest city to determine the solar resource. If you're not close to a city, we can adjust that as needed. We use long-term December solar data to ensure the load will operate year-round. Many online resources for solar typically show average annual this will lead to system failure because we need to size the system to get through the worst case month. And in the Northern Hemisphere, that's December. The site latitude comes into play to determine the best tilt angle for your solar array to maximize solar production during the winter. The general rule of thumb is to use latitude plus 15 degrees for best wintertime production. For example, a system located near Denver, which is about 40 degrees north latitude, will have a tilt angle of 55 degrees. A handy way to find your latitude is use Google Map, look in the URL bar to see your latitude. Latitude is also used for applications where we need to know the length of day or night. For lighting systems with dusk to dawn operation, we need to know the longest night, which is in December, and we can use this chart to determine the needed runtime. This will set the daily load for the system. An installation de detail to keep in mind is tied to location as well. This is declination, which is the difference from magnetic north to true north. And the difference is caused by changes in the magnetic fields of the Earth. The goal is to face the solar array true south to maximize production. And I'll cover declination in more detail in another video. On the site-specific information, we need to know what obstacles we'll face in the installation of the solar system. These may be large trees or buildings or other obstructions. They may shade or reduce the amount of sunlight that we get at this spot and, we, and will be a factor in sizing the system if, if the available access to sunlight is reduced. We need to make the solar array larger to get, gather the needed energy during a shorter period of the day. The goal is to have full access to the sun without any shading from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in December. The goal of positioning the solar array is to face true south in the northern hemisphere with a tilt angle of latitude plus 15 degrees. It's still possible to have a successful installation even if the positioning is not perfect and a minimal amount of shading occurs. Plant ahead, plants grow. Look at plants and trees that may become sources of shade during your annual inspection. Even tall grass such as rice can obstruct solar panels and cause failure. For oil and gas applications, we need to know if it's in a C1-D2 rated space to select the proper gear. With the location details ironed out, it'll be time to look how to determine the daily load. We'll continue that in other videos. Feel free to contact us for your industrial remote power needs. We can be found on the web at www.sunwise.com. Thank you.